everyone, I'm Sujin. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I will share my handbag collection in exotic leathers. All are from Hermes, except for one from Dior. So this is my Birkin 25 in rose gold hardware in black ostrich. There are no sites paperwork for ostrich leather. It is because the ostrich leather is not on the higher category of the endangered species. This ostrich leather originated in South Africa. Ostrich is the only bird used in leather goods. Ostrich leathers are recognized by the feather follicles, or I will call the polka dots and more follicles that there are, the more precious the skin is. Hermes selection of ostrich leather is really superior. The leather feels buttery soft and super lightweight and very important. The follicles here are flush to the touch and it feels very flat and even I have touched ostrich leathers from Dior, Fendi, and LV. They are all gorgeous ostrich leathers. But one thing I was able to pinpoint out was that the follicles were not as flush compared to Hermes. It is flush, but it kind of felt like a little scab. Like I could go ahead and pick at it, the feel wasn't totally smooth. It felt like I would try to pick at it until I peeled off the scab in a way. My fiance couldn't really tell the subtle difference and says that I'm just too anal. I do tend to focus on the little details and I'm sure majority of the people won't be bothered by it. This also explains why ostrich leather costs more with Hermes compared to Dior, Fendi, and LV. The quills had to be hammered down repeatedly for a smooth transition. The cost difference is about double. When I travel, I tend to gravitate carrying this bag. The reasons are because there are no sites paper that I need to worry about. And from afar, it looks like a regular leather. And it's really hard to tell that it is ostrich leather due to the color in black. And it is a very muted style. I really love the soft buttery feel and the well-structured shape. The maintenance is low for this bag because it is in black. I don't have to worry about the patina I do feel the handles here has developed a bit of sheen since I carry it bare, no twillies. But after each use, I just wipe it down with a soft cloth. Next time, if I am offered an ostrich leather, I will probably want one in a lighter shade that will show a nice patina over time. I have two alligator pieces from Hermes. Both are in the matte finish. I have here the Baru chain mini bag with gold hardware in the color blue de malt and Constance 18 with gold hardware in the color Bitone. For Hermes, the alligator leather is indicated with a square symbol. For other luxury houses, there are no symbol. Just would have to know by the site certificate or visually by the shape of the scale. Hermes uses alligator source from the US Mississippi. Hermes is really good with selecting the symmetrical pattern. With alligator leathers, there are no sensory pores within the square scale. 
Well, not in the belly region. They do have these pores in their head region, which is not used. The alligator has a rapid transition in size from the belly to the side flank. The belly mid scales is bigger and the flank is rapidly smaller. From all the Hermes bags, I have here the most use, which is my Baru Chain mini bag, and my least use in the Constance 18. Maybe it's due to color. With the blue one, I carry it everywhere. From a fancy night out to a quick errand in my sweats, and no one really knows that it is Hermes, so I carry it with ease. With the Betone Constance here, I try not to carry it when I have darker clothes on, especially with blue jeans. I don't want to go ahead and worry about color transfer. And it is a really expensive bag. And when I carry this Constance, people tend to stare at it. And I think it's mostly due to the large H logo in the front. When looking at the two alligator bags, the animal scales are quite different. The scales on my Baru chain, um, the scales look more closest to a crocodile compared to an alligator. I think the constants resembles more of an alligator shape. And this could be due to that the Baru chain is a lot smaller, so they probably used a smaller alligator for this bag. I have here two crocodile pieces. With the crocodile leather, the scale size decreases more gradually towards the side flank compared to that of the alligator leather. I have here my small lady Dior in the Lodicus Crocodile Himalaya. It comes with the matching strap. I do use the strap sometimes, but mostly I just carry it as a handheld. To my knowledge, all Himalaya colorway crocodile are from the Lodicus Crocodile. The skin originates from the Nile River in Africa. The Nilodicus crocodile scales are subtly larger compared to that of the Porosis crocodile and are less symmetrical. With Hermes bags, it is denoted with two dots. Other brands do not denote any symbol. You just know it by looking at it or from the form on the site's paperwork. Himalaya finishing, the name originates from the beauty of the Himalaya mountains. Not the origin of the leather, but rather a unique gradation of the color. The pearly white and a smoky gray resembling of the snowy mountains of the Himalaya. All Himalaya finishing leather bags cost more than the non-Himalaya color on the Nilodicus crocodile. I think it's because of the painstaking labor in the dyeing process. It seems like the Dior matte Himalaya is a bit sheen compared to my other Hermes matte alligator and crocodile bags. When I carry this bag, all my essays ask how long the wait list was. Even at Dior, they say that since it's not readily available, most people just opt for the made to order service. And this can take anywhere from six to eight months. And with my Lady Dior's, my color here are slightly lighter compared to the ones that I have seen. And the portion size of the white to the dark can also vary. I feel like there are so many variations, so I would prefer to look at it prior to purchasing.
I have always wanted to add a Lady Dior. So when I saw this Himalaya color in Paris CDG Airport, I just had to bring it home. Even the Dior essay at the airport said there is a wait list for a Himalaya. And I had to tell her that I just saw one in the morning prior to my hotel checkout at the Dior Saint Honoré. But it just didn't work out due to the size and the color of the Himalaya. I guess they save these for the VIP clients and not showing it to the walk-ins like myself. I don't know if it is a game or not, but I can't have another Hermes game. One game is enough for me. I also know that my chances of getting a Himalaya bag from Hermes is non-existing. My Hermes essay said they do get Himalaya Birkin and Kelly's, but majority of the clients don't receive any quota bags for like two years and they just wait for that specific Himalaya bag. I'm sure this is not the case for the super VIP clients in Hermes. But I think I am very satisfied with my Lady Dior Himalaya. I don't know how this bag will age over time. Maybe the whites will become more off-white, yellowish, but I think it will be okay due to the sides being in darker color transition. This is the most recent bag from Hermes. It is the Birkin 25 with the gold hardware in the black Porosis Crocodile. The Porosis Crocodile is denoted with the carrot symbol. The main belly scales are smaller and symmetrical compared to that of the Neloticus crocodile scales. And the Porosis crocodile is originating mainly from Australia. One thing I like about this Birkin in this Porosis crocodile is that the midline is continuous. From the front of the bag to the bottom and to the back side. In terms of the feel of the skin compared to my Hermes alligator, they're both soft. It's just that there are more scales with the Porosis crocodile. I don't carry out this bag too much. Maybe it's the price tag since this is the most that I have spent on a bag. I think I just need to get over the price tag and just wear it like my other handbags. It's a bag. It's meant to be carried and not just be sitting inside my closet. There are many more exotics that I have not added to my collection, like the snake, python, lizards, and Moraletti crocodile. I only have alligator and crocodile in matte finishes, but they do come in the shiny or the real satin finishes as well. Maybe other exotics will join my collection, but for now, I am very happy with my exotic collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope to see you back here and thanks for watching. Bye!